So it's been a few days since I've been over here to the sawmill shelter, but you'll see Michael's been working busily while I've been absent. <laughs> Want to give us an update, Michael? Well, busily is probably a bit of an exaggeration. However, I have done a number of things. Uh, for those uh, who may not know this, these cross braces on either side, they are new. They've been added, yeah. We have temporary 2 by 4 ones. These are some 4 by 4s that I build up out of cedar. Uh, that's done. The, the post is now installed, and I built this uh, kind of retainer hollow wall, roughly three quarters or so full of rock. To uh, there we them. go. Okay, so you're filling it up, and I'll add more. But what I'm doing tonight is uh, I'm going to dump a couple of bags in each. Wall couple bags of what? Of quick creep. <laughs> quick That's, uh, creep. <laughs> you dump it in and you just water it. Cool. And it won't grow, but it presumably will harden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounds never, good in theory. I've never used it before, <laughs> and it's not really, it's more designed for like post holes and things like that. So this is a slightly different application, but because we're a fair distance from the house and the and water source, uh, this I, I'm hoping will will do a half decent job without uh, you know having to mix it and cart it and, and yeah and, and probably a lot more water than we're going to be using here. So basically, it's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to dump a bag down this side. I'm going to dump a bag down that side. Water them and. Uh, Give them, uh, I think it only takes a couple hours or less for them to actually set up. But I'll wait until tomorrow or another day. And uh, I have a total of eight bags that I've bought as an experiment. <laughs> and I'll be using four of them tonight. So we'll give it a try. 66 pounds, old man. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, if you're going to open bags, you need a knife. <laughs> this is a this is a cement bag opener. <laughs> some kind of mixer. I want to get it, a lot of it's hung up. I want it down to the bottom. Down in through all those rocks. Because if it all stays uh, at the top, then this isn't going to work as well as I... So probably should have done a layer and then add more rocks and then do another layer. Sorry, what's that? Uh, to do a layer of your quickcrete and then add the rest of the rocks on top of it and then the other bag of quickcrete. Well, I'm trying to get this down to the bottom. I probably should not have put as many rocks in at this stage. Right. I should have left it lower. But this is a, an experiment and learn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll basically get this down. Try and work it I down can. through. See, I'm pretty sure that's not right down to the bottom here. But then again, it almost appears like it is. Cause 
Well, then I can't believe that. And perhaps with the water, it might flush us through. There's a hole. Yeah, the fine stuff might flush down through. Another bag to go here. We'll see what happens. This may be a gasoline container. I am not using gasoline on this. <laughs> it's way too expensive. <laughs> This is just good old H2O. And I should use somewhere around half of this chuck. Does it tell you how much you need? Yeah, I probably should read the instructions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to, dear. <laughs> no, of course I don't. Look, there's a whole bunch of instructions. Oh, <laughs> okay, two point three liters per sixty six pound bag. That's one of those pumps. So I need a total of four point six liters. Basically five that's liters. That's not a lot because that's about a twenty liter jug. Okay. So you only need a quarter. Not a half. Yeah, we'll see. idea is to have something in here that hardens and will prevent these shifting independently that they're basically between the weight and the stiffness of this be kind of locked together. You that's, mean the... That's the theory. Yes, the, the upright support for the building. And, and the cedar post. And this will also become part of the building because we're going to extend uh, 
the rafters out another few feet to right out to here. So that will be continuous roof cover out to here. Because the mill still is is actually a bit outside the building envelope as it currently sits. It's just longer than that. Man, exercise program number two. Uh. Fish. Gonna have to get this sharpened. Maybe dump it a little slower than. Let it. Give it more time to go down through. Well, uh, yeah, it won't won't be as likely to jam, jam up. Rocks are, of course, all collected off our property. One thing this property grows well is rocks. That's right. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a cash crop. The key is to water them every now and then. This. Try not to get me wet. <laughs> Prefer not to have wet feet. Hey! <laughs> Pay attention. Believe me, what makes you think I'm not? <laughs> Alright, we'll check on it probably tomorrow. Not me, I'm working all day. Uh, You'll check on it tomorrow. Darn. <laughs> it's supposed to be a lovely day. Is it? And then uh, we'll add uh, the last two bags, I think. Last two? I 
I thought you got eight and you only used four. Well, I'm putting a total of four in these two bins. And then I have... You mean four each? No. Uh, right, four each. Okay. So these eight are doing these two posts. Okay, so you've, you've only got half of, of the quick creep in these. Yes. yes. Okay, you want to let this solidify. Right, because I'm not sure, like they certainly don't tell you to put dump four bags of it into a post hole and <laughs> throw the water on top. I think the idea is it's kind of one bag and water. And of course, these were quite separated, so Two bags and one water. One bag there, one bag there, <laughs> and watered, and we'll see what we get. And then you'll have a look and see how you're doing. Cool. Fingers crossed. <laughs>